self-haircut tutorial for men. Step one, don't break things. Things are important, especially lights, you're gonna need them. Also, it's a safety hazard, don't break lights. Step two, inspect your tools. Some things have numbers, other things do not. This thing is meant for ear protection. I don't know what it does though. Step three, practice with big numbers. Shave the side of your head using one that won't actually cut, or maybe it does cut, but just a little bit of cut, so that way you're not cutting too much and you're not regretting it later. But be careful, these edges can get very stabby. Step four. Trim off the big stuff. You can't see what you're cutting if you have a bunch of hair in the way, so trim that hair out of the way and then work your way down with smaller numbers. It's really not all that hard if you think about it. Just think about it while you're doing it. That's, that's important. Oh, and you should probably wear a towel because it'll save you a lot of mess and also hair is very itchy. Step five, start dropping the numbers. There's little numbers on those things that you put on the end of the clippers. And for a good fade, you're gonna wanna lower those numbers each time you start trimming. And then just kind of work your way down your neck. That way it's, you know, a fade and stuff. Step six, work on the top sides. Just focus on the big stuff for now and, and do what I'm doing and it just, it just kind of works if you do it that way. Oh, and don't forget to shake off all that hair you cut, otherwise you'll be cutting it twice. Once you're done getting all the hair off you, go back and try to get what you missed. There's a good chance there's a couple stragglers just hanging around, so just, you know, do some cleanup work. What do you think of my haircut so far? Leave a comment down below and tell me what I should have done different or what I should do different next time. I mean, I'm no pro, but still. Step six. Are we on six? Mm. Pat the side of your hair like this and separate it. That way you can, you know, bring your fade up higher and stuff. And, and use this too, these things, these clip things. Because why not? <laughs> I don't know what they're for, but I think they're working. do the same for the other side. But this time try putting the clip right here. That seems to work better. Still pointless, but yeah, just use it. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue what I'm doing. So I'm gonna use these for the top, except when I put them in my hair like this, they, they kind of get lost. So I'm gonna measure how much I need to actually cut off because that thing said that, you know, it's, it, it takes, it leaves an inch or something. And, I, and I'll, I don't want my hair to be an inch. So this one leaves an inch here. And my thought is if I take that one and then I'd, I'd use this one too, this one takes half an inch and I just stack them on top of each other like that, then technically it'll leave an inch and a half of hair, which is probably about what I want. So I just hold them together like this and then just kind of hold it and then go up the top of my head like like this 
it's not working. It, it doesn't stay and there's no hair being cut anyway. So F that thing. I'm just gonna use my hands, you know, like a real man. So I'm gonna do this, except that I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a number four back on the trimmer and then just do it that way. That way I have a little bit better of a measurement. I think I can cut good that way. I think this is considered layering or feathering or, or texturing or I don't know, whatever, it works. So just, just keep doing that for like, like the whole top of your head and, and then it just kind of works that way. It's only mildly uncomfortable. Oh, and, and watch out if you have any rings, that can mess up your hair if you get stuck on that ring and then you jam your hair in it or something. probably gonna mess up a lot of people's hair by the way and I apologize in advance I hope they have hats oh and and don't drink and cut your hair probably not a good idea I mean I'm, I'm not saying I did I'm just saying like you might you might really regret it if you did probably worse than your regret you'd have for following my hair cut. <laughs> this isn't exactly the best tutorial, but hey, I did it. This is what I did. Although the end result was pretty darn cool. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. It's, it's, it's good. It really is good. Yeah, it gets kind of messy. Just, just wipe it off, shake it off. No biggie. It actually took me about an hour to cut my own hair. I know this video is a lot shorter than an hour, but I'd love to shave it all off, but I think I'd look weird bald. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the sides a little bit, just kind of clean up what I can. See that big gash in the back of my neck right there? It's all red. Yeah, I stabbed myself. Hey, since you're here, can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video? I mean, you're not you're not gonna miss much by doing that right now. Just, I mean, really, nothing cool happens for like 30 more seconds. Like, I'm just I'm just here shaving nothing. Really, I'm. <laughs> I think I'm just moving hair around at this point. <sighs> See, nothing cool. I mean, we're almost there though. Almost there. Those are my kids. All right, so there we go. My hair is finished. I haven't touched it up anymore. The sides look great. I'm actually really surprised at how good it turned out. I put a little bit of product in my hair just to kind of style it a little bit to how I want, but overall it's great. My wife says the back looks, it looks a little goofy though. It, uh, okay, yeah, it, it looks a little bit long, but you know what? Screw it, I can deal with it. It looks good to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment, subscribe, do all that stuff and click on one of these other videos. Or just go cut your hair, do that. Or be, just, just be careful with cutting your hair. Go learn from somebody who's actually good. <laughs>